white geezers. I have such a lot I want to chat to you about, but I'm sewing. I'm... I wanted to make a dress this half term from that Lotta Jan's daughter book that I showed some point last week. So I laundered the linen and everything, but it's quite a thick, slubby linen and it's really heavy. And I thought, I don't want to sew that. It's too hot to sew with heavy stuff. So then I um, started to just kind of run off the idea. But when I pegged out the washing the other day, oh, I'm so confused now. What's that then? That's the front. Okay, here's the side. When I picked up my washing the other day, my line was full of whites and pinks and red stripes and it just looked so pretty. And I was looking at it thinking, oh, it looks so lovely. I love that. It does need some blue in it though. <laughs> so I decided on a whim to make a long floaty skirt, floppy, floaty skirt. And I've got this gorgeous fabric that I've had knocking around for ages. I think I bought it on eBay. It's Cabbages and Roses. And I had about three metres of it. And I knew that you need a lot of fabric for this skirt. And then there would be quite a lot of wastage because of the way you have to cut it. I'm sure there's clever ways of cutting it. But I knew that the way that I would cut it, <laughs> following the instructions, I would have quite a bit of wastage so I thought well the fabric's perfect because I can just make it into other things like little bag pouchy bag things so I just decided to go for it um, I'm just pinning all the panels together this is the fabric <laughs> is it not gorgeous oh it's darling I love it so it's going to have a very simple waistband and some elastic in it and it's going to be quite long and then if I get bigger the elastic will allow for the stretch and if I get smaller I can just pull in the elastic to stop it from falling down so that's my plan and that's what I'm doing. But what I wanted to chat to you about was one of my mates who shall remain nameless, who is a massive Neil's Yard fan, particularly of the um, aromatherapy oils. I just, I, sort of, I promise you, I literally happen to have this on my shelf here, just there. There. Has been telling me all week that there's some amazing deals on the Neil's Yard website and that I should plug on here the fact that I am a consultant for Neil's Yard. I have a website, an affiliate, is it affiliated? It's a website, it's in my name. And you basically do all of your Neil's Yard shopping through that, through my link, and then I get 25% of the sales. But you know what's coming next, don't you? I don't get 25% of the sales. The sales don't even pop into my bank account at all they go straight into Bill's school bank account and uh, you know that I'm on a mission to get Bill's school a minibus because they're desperate and I had so many grand plans of raffles and all sorts this year which I've pressed pause on until we're just a little bit more settled with this corona thing and then I'm gonna hit it hard <laughs> you'll all be sick of me um, but in the meantime, if you are wanting to buy some Neil's Yard, then please pop over to my website, linked down below. Um, I need to pop on because I have nearly run out of two of my favourite things. If you can hear that funny noise, it's Wilf in his den. Oh, and Toby what? climbing over the den. Well, look, I found another picture. It's more like that. So 10 minutes has passed and um, I now can't remember what I was talking about. And also, Wilfred's glasses have just broken. Just need to glue 
them back together. So I need to pop off and do that in a second. So quickly, I'll talk to you about my favourite things. I wish I had them here, but I don't. They're in the other room and I have an obstacle course that I need to navigate to get into the other room, get the thing, get back here. And with the way the interruption... <sighs> that was a phone call. Typical. Ah, the way the interruptions are going today, I um, will never make it back here. Right, so my three favourite things, and that is not just me saying it now because we are in corona times, but organic hand defence, the spray, which I use for my dog walks, also, it just smells so blim, blimmin' lovely. I like to, when I'm in the car and uh, on a school run, I get a bit sleepy. I just spray it in the air and it rejuvenates me. Um, it, uh, it's, it's a brilliant antibacterial but natural hand cleanser, sanitizer. You can also get it like this as a oil that you can burn um, in a diffuser. And my favourite diffuser, oh, actually, I don't know if they still sell them. I'm sure they do. It's not attractive. It's not one of these beautifully shaped things or bamboo outside and lights changing colour. It's a travel one. Um, it fits, it's, it's like this sort of shape and size. And it fits in your cup holder in your car. Not in a Renault Zoe cup holder because a Renault Zoe cup holder is for teeny tiny little French espressos. <laughs> But in most cars, um, and it plugs into your uh, cigarette lighter or your, you know, your AV electrical power outlet in your car, and uh, it sanitizes the air. Or, um, well, if you put the organic defense oil in there, it sanitizes the air. Or you can put in Vitality or um, something to quiet in the mind not lavender you don't want to be falling asleep driving do you but you know different blends and i just think that that's brilliant to have organic defense in a diffuser if you having to work with people in an office even if you're two meters apart i just think it's a really great idea and it doesn't just plug into your car outlet it's got a normal wall plug as well so they're my three things that I love and when I last looked because I need to order more hand spray for myself they they've got it in stock and not only that they have a bottle a refill bottle so you can refill any bottle you don't have to have the Neil's Yard one and that is lovely I love it and um, I just thought I would definitely talk about it here today so that you would know and also I could tell my friend that I've done it. <laughs> I still haven't edited my vlog from yesterday. I have got to get supper sorted, make some rolls. I've got 50 minutes until my paddock rendezvous with Franca. Um, socially distant of course, breaking no rules here. Uh, and then when the weather's a bit cool, I'm going to walk this little park. Oh, do you like my dress? It's new. I bought it from a friend. The same friend who nags me about talking about my Neil's yard. <laughs> Look at the mess. And there's the den. There's the kit. But you can see why it would be difficult for me to get out of here look i'm still doing adjustments he's still doing adjustments i need to go bye bye <laughs> this morning we were watching a cow give birth unfortunately i missed there it is the moment that the baby came out but look a lovely baby cow These cows, they don't get taken from their mums after a couple of hours or days. They stay together quite a long time. They have a lovely life. 
And they are so well loved and cared for. They even have these special massaging rollers in the um, in the dairy. Oh look, she's licking the cat. Don't run too fast, Margot. You'll create friction and the straw grass will catch fire. There she goes. <laughs> funny. What are you doing up there? What are you doing? Out your window? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you coming down? He's glowing. Wow. Look at that. Look at those Nigella now. They're so gorgeous. Look at my rose. Look at the rose. It's become stunning. It smells amazing. This is Paul's Himalayan musk. Let me give it a sniff. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this. Second night in a row. It's got a little tent. Blessings. 